Happy Scrapper, Happy Scrapper, Happy Scrapper, whoa. Get ready to watch a Happy Scrapper video. Happy Scrapper, yeah, yeah, here we go. This video, I want to talk to you guys about scrapping restricted items and how you can get that accomplished. Uh, restricted items are going to be things like you see here, uh, grocery carts, uh, railroad steel, uh, state signs, uh, anything that the yard doesn't take because it could be stolen. Uh, you know, if you've got one or two things, like if you're just trying to take one grocery cart, now you're probably just going to have to sell it to somebody or give it to somebody. But just like this truckload of, of uh, grocery carts from a... Uh, store that's closed here that was closing down we went and picked the the carts up from them i carry a form letter with me and basically all it says is uh has a place for me to fill out exactly what uh the item is how many i've got and have somebody from either that store or <clears throat> a representative uh sign that letter so i can provide that to uh whatever scrap yard I'm going to to be able to, to to scrap those items. I don't really run into a lot of railroad steel. Uh, sometimes you may have a company that has a private spur or uh, you know something along those lines that you may wind up with something like that. Or I go to a lot of county and city auctions and sometimes they'll have a pallet of road signs and people just not going to take them. Uh, you can sell them on like I sell a lot of stuff on uh, Etsy and eBay and that kind of thing, you can sell them. But as far as taking them to a scrapyard, they're kind of hard to to get rid of or sell at a scrapyard. So if you've got a legitimate yard, they probably won't take them without the letter. And basically, like I said, the letter just has a very short explanation of what the item is that you fill in. Uh, like these, it would say, <clears throat> well, the name of the store is Fred's. I don't, no reason to hide it. Uh, and I would say Fred's, you know, gave me or I purchased or they donated to my church or donated my organization or whatever, uh, however many grocery carts and the date and then have some representative there with the company sign it. And that way you can uh, scrap them out or sell them and, and be legitimate with it. So that's a good way to keep it legal, keep you above board and still be able to get your money. Again, thanks for watching and... Happy scrapping.